Hello and welcome to Nature Tastic with Henry. Today is all about my visit to London Zoo and two of the amazing animals that we saw there. First up is the amazing Komodo dragon and then we've got a fabulous tiger including the newborn cub. Make sure you watch to see that because it's seriously cute. Here is the Komodo dragon and some of the cool facts about them. The Komodo dragon or Varanus komodensis is the largest lizard in the world. The Komodo dragon is a top predator and hunts deer and water buffalo up to three times their size. Whoa! <gasps> She's big, isn't she? Our understanding of how they hunt is changing. They, they bite their prey and we used to think that bacteria in their mouths slowly poisoned the big mammals. But now we think their bite is actually venomous. Komodo dragons will follow their prey after they've bitten them for miles, waiting for them to collapse from blood poisoning. Dun, dun, dun! The Komodo dragon lives on the Indonesian islands of Komodo and Gilimontang, Rinka and Flores. At London Zoo, they live in a special Komodo dragon house, which was renamed after Sir David Attenborough to mark his 90th birthday. That is cool. OK, bye-bye to you and hello. Now it's time for some tigers. They may be one of the world's most powerful hunters, but cuteness alert, you're going to love the new cub. The tiger species at London Zoo is the Smartron tiger or the Pantheris tigris smartre. There is some debate about the numbers of subspecies of tigers with scientists identifying up to nine different types but many have multiple common names. Mm, so adorable! There are only 400 Smartron tigers left in the wild which is why it is so wonderful that this cub has been born. Whoa! Look! The cub's feeding! They are critically endangered, but the Zoological Society of London, who run London Zoo, oversees a global and European captive breeding programme to help restore their numbers. That's really important. Cool fact, a tiger's tongue isn't something you would would like to be licked by because it's covered in sharp bars called papillae which will which will strip meat from the bone. Ooh. I had an awesome day at London Zoo learning all about the conservation projects that they lead and support around the world. And with that, bye from Nature Tastic with Henry. Bye!